Good afternoon, everybody. Here's what we got going on. We got a storm damaged maple. This was an uproot, one of three trees that uprooted, and we got the call to clean it up. So look at this mess. We're going to clean it up right now. <laughs> I think my next purchase is going to be probably a six inch chipper. I don't need anything diesel. I don't need anything 12, 15, 18 inches. I don't need that at all. I can burn or sell the wood. Uh, the way I'm limbing this tree, it would all be perfect for a six inch chipper. Did I want to go rent one for this job? No, but I cut everything as straight and clean as I could get to fit into the dump trailer, which you're going to see in a second. But man, I could see where a six inch chipper on a job like this would literally be game changing. Definitely auto feed for sure. Can't um can't make that mistake. But we got a lot of boiler wood out of this. It was a fair amount of cleanup. So yeah, let's keep uh let's keep chugging away. So we're going to do a little uh, cutting to get this all to settle and then we're going to stack the big heavy wood on top of it uh, just to make some more space. Alright, that's most of the brush. Let's start tossing some logs. We'll measure out and we'll make some firewood to sell out of the big stick. This is all just going to be boiler wood. So we'll cut it enough to move it with the tractor. It'll help weigh down that brush. <laughs> say the more i take this kubota tractor on jobs since we have the dump trailer now we can transport it easily um this thing's the cat's meow honestly um i would love a grapple on the front of it like a small frostbite uh i think that would be mint uh, but i don't know what i want to do yet it's not awful stacking brush on it we have those little extensions on the side of the bucket but i definitely think a grapple is probably where it's at for sure stuff here's like where i think you leave a lasting impression with the customer. I decided to just plow the driveway. Number one, there was all types of small sticks and brush on it, but I marked out where the driveway was and I cleaned the rest of her driveway. She was more excited about the driveway being plowed than taking the tree away. I also brought out the Mac to measure out 16 inch pieces um, because we're gonna make some wood to sell off of this tree, why not? Uh, we had a fair load of boiler wood, so now let's make some 16 inch rounds because 16 inch rounds are also easier to load in the Kubota bucket. <laughs>
speed this up. You guys get the point. The 576 uh, freshly sharpened train, uh, chain. I set the rakers. This thing is absolutely singing through this maple here. Um, so again, cut to all 16 inch lengths. Then we take the tractor here and we lift this up just to get it kind of off the snow, off the grass. Um, the tractor wasn't happy. <laughs> it's a heavy stick of wood. Um, there's a lot of pieces there, a lot of 16 inch rounds there. So let's go ahead and separate this and then we'll get it all loaded. if I showed it at the end but um, there's some major core rot in the stem of the tree um, we might even be taking down the other ones I don't know yet um, she's got a little bit of a problem on her hands with these other trees so we'll get to that later so I take the Kubota and I take it and I kind of turn and roll the log a little bit I didn't want to mess up her yard too bad but it allowed me to get to the back sides of the cuts as you can see here but check out this root ball total uproot craziness some root rot there, some core rot. These are the two trees. The other two maples may be compromised as well. Those might have to come down as well. Um, I think it's in her best bet to take them all down, but um, yeah, we'll go one step at a time here. <laughs> So I can't get up here with the tractor to try to push this root system down. As you can see, it's not going down. So we're going to revisit this when the ground dries up. Well, that's about it, folks. The goat's pretty much full. We'll come back. We'll get those rounds in uh, with the tractor. We can kind of stack them around the uh, machine. So again, thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Let me know what you think. Another storm damage job done. Checks on the dash. And off we go. We'll throw a couple straps over this. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Let me know what you think. And like I always say, see you guys out in the woods.